We have a major public health crisis on us right now. Every day in this country, 80 people are dying from prescription pain pill overdoses or from a street counterpart, heroin, and all the variations of heroin. This is an epidemic that is affecting the whole country, and it's not abating, it's growing. Treatment centers in particular have a responsibility to really look at what they're doing and understand if it's effective. People see Hazelden Betty Ford as a leader and a barometer for the field of addiction medicine, and we take that responsibility seriously. When we saw the opioid crisis blooming, we knew we had to make a change. My name is Reed, I'm currently 26 and I've been in recovery for three years. Uh, after a car accident, I picked up opiate use. I found an available source on the internet. It was really easy to get. I had some money and it really only probably took a couple weeks for me to become, uh, I, I guess I say habituated. When we started to address the opioid crisis, we saw that a lot of families were torn. They had to either choose medications that were life-saving, but receive very little else, or they went to more traditional programs where they got the treatment, but not the medications they needed. We recognized that they needed both, and that's what the CORE 12 program is all about. COR stands for Comprehensive Opioid Response. The 12 is to echo the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, which, as everyone knows, is an abstinence-based program. Our CORE 12 program is an abstinence-based program. When you go through our program, when you stay in our continuum, you will, at the end, be tapered off any medications you're on. You will be with people who have had similar experiences as you with opioids. You'll be with them in a fellowship group, and you'll be able to stay sober and go back into your community with the strength with the stability to be able to live a life uh, of recovery and abstinence. Initially when I got to treatment there was a taper, a Suboxone taper. After one month of abstinence, I started the naltrexone therapy, Vivitrol, and I maintained on some of those medications like gabapentin and trazodone for several months. I worked with a therapist for I think a year. Uh, I worked with a psychiatrist for that same amount of time to take a look at how, what are my goals with medication. And in my experience, the end goal was always abstinence. And so having a team help me work through that really helped. I wouldn't have been able to do it if not for that. When you're talking about engaging clients and families over a long period of time, you need excellent communication, and that's where technology comes in. We are invested in looking at all sorts of creative ways to interface with clients so that we can meet them where they are in their everyday lives. And that means we can deliver some of the care, not necessarily in the office, but perhaps through telemedicine or through phone calls or text messaging or through apps or computer programs that we've developed. And every single one of these tools can help a person along their journey of recovery. I absolutely think that Hazelden Betty Ford is a, a good place for people with opioid abuse problems and somewhere that if I did it over again, I would have to choose them because my experience was, was so good and my life now is so much fun and I would not want to change any of that. There's no greater impact you can have on a patient than helping them to maintain sobriety and giving them back their life and transforming the life of all their family as well. When you stay engaged with clients and families for a long period of time, you become a believer in change. You see a spiritual awakening. They become the people they always wanted to become. They become the sons and daughters and husbands and wives that their families wanted them to be. And seeing that closure, seeing that community, seeing that redemption, seeing grace in action, all these are things that make treatment special. There is hope. There are ways to deal with this. There are ways for communities to deal with it. We've got a great uh, institute for recovery advocacy inside the Hazel and Betty Ford Foundation who's done such a great job at mobilizing communities. Our prevention arm called Freedom from Chemical Dependency also has done a great job of mobilizing schools and parents and faculty members to really talk about the problem. The point is, is that you can do something. You can do something at the community level and you can do something at the family level. 
St. Elizabeth's healthcare system and the seven counties uh, treatment program in Kentucky have been involved in our training. Uh, St. Elizabeth's really down the road pretty far now in implementing Core 12 throughout their system. And it's a different system than ours. Theirs is a big medical system, primarily outpatient treatment of addiction, and they've been able to incorporate what we've been doing uh, into their treatment of opioid use disorders in one of the states that's just been ravaged by this epidemic. Our publishing uh, arm is really working hard to publish our protocols, our Core 12 manual to organizations across the world and we're seeing really, really great response to that. We've been able to become a real voice for appropriate treatment of this disorder uh, and the use of this kind of combination of treatments uh, that we call Core 12.